Hi, second graders. It's Miss Shemansky here for your read aloud. Today we're going to be reading this book called Amelia Bedelia Tries Her Luck. Show me a silent thumbs up if you've ever read an Amelia Bedelia book before. Me too. I love Amelia Bedelia. I'm so excited to read this with you today. So today while we're reading, we're going to be thinking about the character's point of view through tone of voice. So remember, point of view is how a character feels about something that's happening in the text, and tone of voice is how the character is saying what they're saying in the text. So we're going to be paying careful attention to the dialogue in the text or what the characters are saying to try to figure out how they feel about certain things in the text or point of view. So let's jump right in. Amelia Bedelia was getting ready to go to school when crash. I'm sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. Accidents happen, sweetie, said her mother. The important thing is that you are not hurt. So it looked like she broke the mirror right there. At school, Amelia Bedelia told her friends about the accident. You're in trouble, said Clay. Breaking a mirror means seven years of bad luck. Seven years, said Amelia Bedelia. That's almost my whole life. So let's pause right here. I want us to pay attention to Amelia's point of view right here. So looking at what Amelia Bedelia is saying, she says, seven years, that's almost my whole life. And if you guys notice at the end of the sentence, I see an exclamation point. That means she feels really intensely about something in this moment. So if I'm putting my clues together and trying to figure out the point of view in this moment, I would guess that Amelia Bedelia is worried about what her future is going to look like, right? Because she hears that breaking a mirror causes seven years of bad luck and she knows that she's only seven years old. So, I think that she's worried about what's going to happen. Let's keep reading. Even worse, said Rose, today is Friday the 13th. Bad luck gets doubled today. That's 14 years, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll have bad luck forever. Amelia Bedelia, said Joy, you can change your luck. That's right, said Heather. My dad always says, see a penny, pick it up. All the day, you'll have good luck. Amelia Bedelia picked up Penny, her friend Penny. Put me down, said Penny. Heather means penny a coin, not penny a person. Silly Amelia. At recess, the whole class, the whole class tried to keep, excuse me, Every says the whole class tried to help Amelia Bedelia change her luck. They searched for a four-leaf clover. They searched for a lucky horseshoe. They tried to find a rabbit's foot. These are all things that are considered really lucky. The playground didn't have any of those things. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. We struck out. You are out of luck. So I want to pause us right here again and try to figure out the tone of voice right here. So looking at what uh, this character Clay is saying, when he's, is saying when he's talking to Amelia, he says, I'm sorry, we struck out, you are out of luck. So thinking in this moment how all her friends were trying to come together and help her create some better luck for herself, I can tell that in this moment that Clay, based on his tone of voice, he sounds sad. So if I was trying to guess Clay's point of view, I would guess that he would say, I would guess that he's feeling really sorry for Amelia and sorry that they couldn't figure out something to help better her luck. Amelia Medelia made a plan. If she could not find luck, she would make her own luck. Amelia Bedelia's teacher, Miss Edwards, saw her drawings. She also saw that Amelia Bedelia was upset. Are you all right? asked Miss Edwards. No, I am all wrong, said Amelia Bedelia. She told Miss Edwards about breaking the mirror and about her double bad luck. 
So now I want to pause right here and try to figure out Amelia's point of view in this moment, but I'm going to need your guys' help. So I want you guys to read this section one more time, looking at the pictures, looking at what she says and think, what do you guys think Amelia's point of view is? So once again, she says, no, I am all wrong. And then looking at the pictures, what do we think? Good job, friends. So yes, she would feel really upset in this moment based on her tone of voice, the way she says that she's all wrong when Miss Edwards asked her if she's all right. So I would say that Amelia is really worried, right? She's really worried about what her life is going to look like now that she thinks she has all this bad luck. Let's keep going. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards. Today is my lucky today is my lucky day. Friday the 13th is the perfect day to talk about luck. This date is considered a really unlucky day. The class listed lucky and unlucky things. They talked about bad luck and good luck. There were all kinds of questions. Miss Edwards told the class a story. When I was your age, she said, one saying really scared me. It was, step on a crack, break your mother's back. Give me a silent thumbs up if you guys have heard of this before. Me too. That's terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. But it isn't true, said Miss Edwards. Just like breaking a mirror isn't bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck, said Clay. It's bad luck for the mirror. Everyone laughed. Amelia Bedelia laughed hardest of all. She felt a lot better. As Amelia Bedelia was walking home, she saw a crack in the sidewalk. Bad luck? Ha! She said. So let's pause here one more time thinking about tone of voice and the point of view of Amelia. So right here I want you guys to think. What's her tone of voice? Reading this, um, this section right here, bad luck, ha. Huh? What's her tone of voice and her point of view? Yes, friends, good job. So when she says right here, bad luck, ha, huh? her tone of voice is relieved and happy. She can now joke about jumping on the crack about the thing that her teacher had told us about jumping on the crack and breaking her mother's back. She could laugh about that now. She wasn't as worried anymore because she knows that's just a saying and that it's not true. So because she feels relieved, her point of view is that she's finally happy again and doesn't have to worry about having bad luck. She stepped on the crack. She stepped on every crack she saw. When she spied the biggest one of all, Amelia Bedelia stomped on it. Then Amelia turned onto her street and she stopped in her tracks. There was an ambulance in front of her house. Oh no, I wonder if something's wrong with her mom. Amelia Bedelia raced home. Breaking the mirror was an accident, but she had stepped on those cracks on purpose. Mom, yelled Amelia Bedelia, I didn't mean to break your back. The ambulance was pulling away. Mom, cried Amelia Bedelia. Mom! Friends, what do you think her point of view is in this moment? Look at those exclamation points, how she's crying. She's probably very worried, right? She's probably very worried. And her point of view is that she's wondering what's happening to her mom. And she wants to make sure her mom is okay. And she feels really regretful and sorry that she stepped on those cracks. Because now she thinks something's wrong with her mom. Let's see if something's wrong with her mom. Amelia Bedelia, said her mother. I'm with Miss Adams, sweetie. Amelia Bedelia whirled around. Her mom was with her neighbor. Her back was fine. Amelia Bedelia ran to her mom. She gave her the biggest, longest, strongest hug ever. Ouch, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Do you want to break my back? No, never, said Amelia Bedelia. 
Amelia Medela had her family and lots of great friends. She also had a fancy gold mirror. It was a gift for Mrs. Adams. Amelia Bedelia felt like she was the luckiest person in the world. Friends, thanks so much for participating in this read aloud with me. See you guys tomorrow.